get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Held at IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're at the Undercard press conference today for Anthony Joshua beat Eric Molina. Also, big British title clash. Jose Burton against Frank Leone. Joined by Frank Leone himself. What's happening, Frank? How are you? Yeah, all good. Thank you, James. Good, nice, mate. nice to be back. I've got to say, very enjoyable exchange between yourself and Jose Burton today. A little bit of spite underneath it, a little bit of history as well, which is always great yeah. for us media to watch. I'm, I'm just telling the truth. Um, I've wanted this fight for a long time. And um, I mean, if you remember, um, back, I was calling for the fight as soon as he won it and um, got no response and then uh, Joe Gallagher tried to palm me off with Callum Johnson which I said yeah no problem I'll take that fight as long as I, I get the, uh, the winner and it all went quiet and then uh, I got into the mandatory and now they have to fight me so yeah, it's the fight I've wanted they obviously didn't at the time but um, they say they do now so it's, it's going to happen. Can you explain to me what you alluded to in the press conference regarding the GB sort of history? Yeah well look He's, um, people are asking about his training ethics and this, that and the other. So obviously I go back to when, when I trained alongside him and when we was on the trials together. So it was myself, Anthony Agogo, Jose Burton and Kirk Garvey, um, a middleweight or vying for the middleweight position. And um, Jose Burton, every training session there was an excuse. It was either his ankle or he'd, he'd only got two days notice or he weren't well or something has gone wrong. And I just can't constantly remember the moaning and the excuses. and. Um, like all, the, all the, everyone else kind of just got on with it. And um, if you ask Callum Smith, he'll tell you exactly the same. We was rooming at the time, and uh, we, was, we was good friends, and we, we would laugh about it. Um, so he'll tell you if, you if you ask him what he was like on MGB trials. Maybe he's changed, maybe he hasn't. Um, but I know for a fact that I put the hard work in since since I started boxing, and that's what's going to tell. Um, also, the experience, uh, the experience I've had now. I know I was, I was unsuccessful in the world title attempt, but it was a good fight, and uh, I give it, I give it a lot of uh, effort, and I, I left everything in there, and I'm willing to do exactly the same come Saturday. Whether he can do the same, I'm not sure, but um, no, I'm looking forward to it. Do you think psychologically you've got advantage over him? The fact that you've got the nod in the GB to get on the GB squad at that time. Yeah, regardless, I know that um, my mindset is very, very strong. Um, I don't know if his is. Um, I've seen him give up a few times. Um, I've seen little instances where he, um, where he turns his back on opponents. So I don't think his, uh, his mindset is the strongest. And um, I'll, be, I'll be looking to exploit that um, because I just won't, I won't stop. I won't let up. It's going to be non-stop pressure. When he opened the bell, he said he wants to have a fight with me and he think he'd knock me out quicker if I have a fight with him. Well, we'll see. Second fight at light heavyweight. Do you feel you've had enough time to, to get used to the weight? It's a different kind of time, and I would suggest to to scoop him in a way. Yeah, I mean, um, with the punching, the punching yeah. obviously a little bit heavier, a little bit yeah, harder. Yeah, yeah. I've taken my speed from from super middle, but the difference is all the hard training I've done now. Um, it's not drained me. Whereas when I was making super middle, the last two three weeks, I was coming to into fights. I was starting to feel a little bit drained, and my and my sparring partners would tell me they say like you. Um, well, they tell the coach, and he, he kind of relayed the information. Pascal Collins, he said, like, you're knocking people out, you're knocking people over in the, in the start of your camp, and then towards the end, your you you, you power's fading. Um, where now I'm at light heavy, the, the power ain't fading, it's actually increasing, and um, that sharpness is bringing uh, everything I need. So, um, no, I'm, as I say, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to, to shining on the big stage. My, my debut at light heavyweight ended in about 90 seconds against quite a, quite a durable opponent, and he was in a world of trouble. And that was that was early, so um, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like, great sparring. Um, have, haven't been out of the gym, so um, yeah, I'm ready. Did Hope say Burton's comments about you sort of not settling with a trainer? Now you seem very settled with Pascal. I don't know what the agreements were and how much it was costing you to effectively live and train and out. Well, that's what that's what it comes down to, to be honest, James. Uh, Would that be a Steve, big reason for why you've changed? Yeah, well, Steve and Pascal were, were great trainers, and um, we're, we're still very good friends now. And um, myself and Mark still speak, um, but obviously I had to come away from London. Um, it was my decision. Um, the same same in Dublin. I, I couldn't I couldn't afford to to keep 
fun in the camps, especially during the rebuilding stage of my career. And I made the right decision because I've only, obviously only fought once this year. But by being back at home, I've had the chance to work in day in, day out. Um, with Don Charles, um, who's, a, who's a top, top trainer. Um, and he kind of, he's carried on the work that Stephen Pascal um, did as well. So, yeah, as I say, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to showing what I can do. And um, no, there's, there's no animosity between me and my previous trainers, just circumstances, and that's what happens. Do you feel a little bit of a maverick now you've sort of you've boxed on some big shows, you've fought for a world title, you've had the promotion, big promotional companies behind you in the past, but now you sort of seem to be you and your team, one they're, man they're still, they're still there in the background, James. Uh, as I say, I, I wanted to, uh, to win this British title, um, take the British title, and then um, go and go and do some uh, some meetings that have been set up. So, um, no, as I say, uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm going out on my own, but I'm doing what I think is right. Um, and it's, it's working for me. I, I'd rather make a mistake on my own back and uh, hold my hands up to it than someone else make a mistake on my behalf. I wouldn't be able to live with myself, so that's what I've done. And uh, yeah, I've made a few mistakes, but I've learned from it, I've come back. And the um, difference is going to be that experience. I've been out in the, out in the world on my own. And uh, I've, I've, I've taken the chance, I've taken the plunge. And uh, Jose Bernan, he's, he's been with Joe Gallagher since he was like 10 years old. He's never known any different, never had a change of scenery, never um, got that experience, um, gone away to spying different people. And uh, yeah, I've, I think that's going to that's gonna be a telling factor, James. We saw Ruthless Frank in the build up to the Trudenov fight. You seemed very, sort of, I haven't seen you like that before, very focused, very sort of single minded, very. Very cold in some ways, not in a bad way, but just very sort of yeah, well, focused. Will ruthless Frank come back for this? Yeah, nothing, nothing's changed. Uh, this is this is business. Um, I've, I've never disrespected any of my opponents. I'm in there to do damage, and they're in there to do the same to me. Um, so when it comes down to it, it's a fight, and uh, I'll shake his hand afterwards. But until then, I just I just want to hurt him, and that's in my mind. I, I can't help it. That's the way I feel. Um, I respect him as a fighter, but I do. I want to hurt him. Listen, I wish you the best of luck on Saturday. Thank you for coming to our phone TV. It's good to get you back on the channel. As I said, there's a boxing news of tip this. We're expecting a really great contest. Yeah, no, it'd be a, it'd be a great fight for as long as it lasts. Thanks for your time. Top man, James. Thank Cheers, you. Mate.